Welcome back to the Blissful Badger. I think I'm about a minute earlier than I usually am. <laughs> I have my tea. Mm-hmm. Good tea today. It's a uh, like tangerine orange zinger, I think. So yeah. Let's see. And tonight I want to paint some of my Skaven models. I'm really looking forward to uh Age of Sigmar 4th Edition, since, you know, we did see that um, leaked image over the week. Um, and just like with Leviathan and my Tyranids, where I wanted to have all of my Tyranid models built before Leviathan came out, I want to get at least 1500 points current points of skaven built and painted and battle ready before fourth edition comes out rules are going to change point values and how exactly things are run so i don't quite ex expect the uh the points to be exactly the right way and i might have to kit bash some stuff or modify it so, I'm okay with 1,500 points. It means I should have at least 1,000 that I can play with right out of the gate. So with that in mind, I do have 10 gutter runners that I kitbashed so that they had the punching dagger and knife. Um... I thought that that was a decent alternative to buying metal models that only had three sculpts. Um, or maybe they have more than three sculpts? I don't remember. I know that the, uh, the um, Scryer Acolytes only had three, but... So... Because they are the same as my clan rats in body size, I am going to place them on 32 millimeter bases to show that they are not night runners, but they are gutter runners. But also, I want to do a dark gray uh, fur. So here's my black gray and dark gray paints. We'll see how they go. I think that the black gray will be a good base instead of just going fully black and I can always add a little bit of lighter gray to it and if this doesn't work I'll swap over to the dark gray um, that'll stand out from the almost white um, where is it the deck tan flesh tone that I have on my clan rats and the flat brown that I use for my plague monks and plague sensor bearers. So there will be a color of rat definition as well. So and just like how my clan rats have... Actually, that's... I think I actually used the beige brown for the... The plague monks. I think I used the flat brown for the... Uh, clothing. I think. Could be backwards. Um, but just like how I have the... Uh, filthy brown... As the... Clothing color for my 
clan rats and the green that is not actually in the spot where it should be uh, for the plague monks I am planning to do a dark Prussian blue or royal purple or a mixture of them for the cloaks and clothing for the stealthy look I think it's gonna be dark but also it's not pure black because if you look into the history of ninjas and such they had more of a dark purple look to hide in the shadows instead of a pure black. So that's what I'm planning to do. I'm going to start with the dark Prussian blue and maybe add some of the purple if I need to. So it's definitely more of an experimental night. I don't have these colors down yet and I might do, you know, five in one and five in the other or a mixture. So, that's where I'm at right now. But I think I am going to start with the black-gray as the skin tone and see how that goes first. I might highlight a little bit more than I usually do with these just because I'm going to be using really dark colors and even though I like them the idea of them being dark I mean if the model's too dark it's going to be impossible to see Sorry. Didn't realize that I was even further up on the camera than I thought I was. Having done this initial tone on this arm, I'm going to actually put a small dot of a brown into it. I think that gray is not natural enough of a color. There's a tiny bit of a shade difference there. Not sure if it shows up on the camera very well.
So yeah, I'm going to do at least a highlight on these. Because that is really dark. But I definitely will see a difference in this versus the regular clan rats. <laughs> On the table, it won't be a very much of a question whether something is a gutter runner or a clan rat. Hello! How have you been? I'm going to do the tail the same as I do all of my rats, so it's going to be brighter than the rest of the rat. I think that's kind of fun. I'm having a decent day. Um, I know I got this going a minute or so earlier than usual, but it actually was... Uh, weirdly a quick thing for me getting here on time um some other stuff was going on so nothing bad just life outside of the videos and painting um i did get to play a game of uh crusade yesterday that was cool my Necrons are currently 0 and 1. <laughs> 7 units died and 3 took Battle Scars, so that's a great way to start the uh, campaign. And I'm really looking forward to getting even more new Skaven models. So, yeah. That, that's the week in an extreme nutshell. So... How about you? Anything interesting happen? Alright, so it's a normal clan rat body with a clan rat arm with, I chose blades that looked more aggressive in nature and then I took the punching dagger arms and I snipped off the well, the fact that they're supposed to be for the right arm and I filed them down and put them where the shields were supposed to be. So, they didn't take a lot of effort, but they look cool. I chose bodies that had more of a fabric look to them. They don't have as much armor, if any. So they'll stand out overall. And, yeah, they're just... They're technically just clan rats with different weapon options. And then I'm going to paint them dark instead of the uh, the way I paint all my other models for the clan rats. And they should be pretty good. At least I'm hoping so. 
the music stop already? That is zoomed all the way in, right? Yep. There we go. Yeah, just using the items that I have available to me before they announce a new version that's, you know, ten times better. <laughs> I think I have a vid- well, I'm fairly certain that one of the last two Skaven videos I did was me actually showing how I did this, so... Well, the last Skaven video I did was... <laughs> yeah, paint along. Um... I guess my last video I did on Skaven was about the the leak, so I think it's two ago where I showed how to do these and the Gisales. Um Yeah, it wasn't very hard to do. It's a little bit, uh, cutting the punching daggers off of the other hands is a little bit tricky. Just because you're shaving, you know, small pieces and you don't want to ruin any of them. But overall, it, it's not a very hard conversion. I will say, I'm, I mean, I know I just mixed this color up on the fly, but adding just a little bit of that brown to the, the flat brown to the dark gray really is an interesting gray. <laughs> yeah, my, my clan rats are a uh what is it i used deck tan and then covered it with holy white speed paint so my clan rats are mostly white with a tiny bit of a hint of uh gray and they have the uh filthy brown yellowish color a yellowish brown color so this guy is gonna stand out on the table definitely so two flesh tones down I figure I have about two hours tonight so I'm gonna get as many as I can to 
at least the first uh, layer of clothing done. Mixing colors takes longer than painting, so, you know, choosing what color you're going to choose, you know, paint, so it shouldn't take that long. But yeah, I'm doing the fur color first because it's the most inward color on these models. And if I'm a little bit sloppy, I can hit it later with the color that I'm supposed to and clean it up without actually having to go back and do anything major. So it's also why I'm using this brush instead of something that has, you know, a single tip. I'm kind of painting and overbrushing at the same time. Being it's just the first color down after primer, it's not that worrisome about if I get a little bit on a piece of uh, what will eventually be brown or metallic <clears throat> so I, I really am looking forward to the new edition. I thought I might be able to get enough clan rats and plague monks and everything built and painted before the edition change, and I could actually learn how to play third edition, but I don't think there's going to be enough time to put in to learn in actually make it worthwhile. So I think I'll instead work on painting more models for the next couple of months and just have a larger selection to learn the new edition. So. All right, this one has a hood, so less of the face to paint. Yeah, I mean, if the edition comes out in, say, four months, that should give me plenty of time to work on the models I already have. And, you know, learning a game 
I mean, I could get a game in now. I understand the basic premise of third, but I've never played it. But with uh, six editions of 40k, I still get some rules wrong because of the new version versus the old. Like, reserves don't actually die on if you don't bring them out on turn three now. It's just by the end of the game, so... Like, things like that are... kind of... good? I like that the rules change a little bit here and there. Um, but you have to learn how to play within the new ones, and it might make some stronger than others, and... So, it's still going to take me a little while to get used to Plague Monks being uh, units of 20 instead of 10. I had had... I have 30 of them, either painted or ready to be painted, and now I have to build up the next 10, so just so I can use them as a actual legal units. I've been using so many of them for kit bashing that uh <laughs> I wasn't ready to do that. I was going to originally just build 50 of them. So the other 10 are going to just be more kit bash fodder. So I think I might do another unit of 3 Gisales. I have another um idea for those, and maybe a uh, weapons team, once I figure out how I want to do those conversions. Um, I want to use a lot of the uh, Storm Fiend bits, extra bits, and I still haven't actually finished building my first unit of Storm Fiends. So, between the Storm Fiends and the Weapons Teams, I should easily hit 1,500 points before the summer, though. So. Ooh, 40k? Skaven. Um, I don't think they're going to happen. I've seen some pretty cool conversions and how people will run them as like Admac or uh, let's see. I know I've seen them in something else other than just Admac. Um, I could see them running kind of as an orc type kit bash too or stand you know proxy i think skaven as orcs play wise could be cool but i think i think space skaven's just not going to happen because of the playstyle and the way that they got rid of a bunch of the 30-man uh, blobs in 40k when they went down to 20 max. I think that is them trying to stay away from hordes, and I would not want to play Space Gaven without having horde options. Maybe you could run them as... Uh... Oh... Running them as Tyranids could be interesting. You wouldn't be able to bring any of the larger models, really. Because what's the what what's the equivalent of an Exocrine? But clan rats as Hormigants could be fun. <laughs> clan rats with spears being termagants could be interesting. 
they're just throwing the spears. But overall, I I don't see hordes being as good in 40k right now. And I don't want to see them releasing something where you need, you know, 50 kits just to field enough bodies. And I really feel that Skaven need the bodies to really be what they're supposed to be on the battlefield. I mean, I know that some of the tournaments and stuff play, you know, what, nine Storm Fiends or 12 Storm Fiends or something like that, but it's not the same as just running, you know, 80 Clan Rats and then 40 Plague Monks and going all out with the Swarms. So... That might just be my playstyle versus, you know, other Skaven players, but I want to see him as a swarm. They're supposed to... I mean, you could maybe run him as a Gene Stealer cult. That could be interesting, too. So, there are other factions that do Skaven-like things. And I don't think they're going to introduce that as a uh, full faction on their own. Could be wrong. I'd be thrilled if they did. But I don't think it's going to happen. Sadly. Alright. I mean, Skaven doesn't even get Old World right now, so the likelihood they go into 40k is... yeah. I think people would rather see them come out with Old World models. I don't know. Could be wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm still not even sure what I would want of new models. Like, not new models. I, I want a bunch of new refreshes, but what sort of battlefield rules would I want the Skaven to get just for 4th edition Age of Sigmar? Like... A lot of their stuff is just really old. Do we want new... I think... They could use another... They could use a shooting type unit. Um, like archers. Or something. Or maybe let them throw spears as an archer unit. That could be cool. 
Um, I can't think of very much ranged that they have. And, uh, or a really fast moving unit. Maybe rats on rats. Rat riders could be fun. I could see that. Yeah, that that actually I like. Skaven on giant rats. As a cavalry unit. That would be really cool. Um, but yeah, other than shooting and a cavalry unit, I can't think of many, uh, opportunities for new game play. Like, it, it's, I find it interesting that they have the big... Um, the big kit that does, what, five different models? Um, it's useful. I don't have one. <laughs> um, they're supposed to be really good, but again, it's just one big rat instead of a huge assortment of little ones and there's something about the chittering horde coming forth and that's why I like the Tyranid so much and why I like other uh, swarm like units Like, I might be crazy here, but <laughs> not going to argue that point. Um, if they have a new clan rat unit that comes out, I will not be upset with that. Um, I think this one's perfectly fine for what it does. I don't think it's a bad model. Uh, it definitely has options to kitbash as other things. Um, but, like, these things are smaller in size than a lot of other models out there, and everything has been getting bigger and more detailed from GW, so I couldn't tell you that they're not going to do it. Um. But, like, I still don't have any, um, wow. I don't think I've had enough water today, but, um, I don't have, I don't, the Storm Fiends, no, not Storm Fiends, um, what are they called? Give me a second. <clears throat>
Storm Vermin. There we go. <laughs> yeah, um... But yeah, like, I don't have any Storm Vermin. I think that would be a cool kit to get. But... At the same time, I'll wait until Refresh to see what they have. But no, like, I don't... I don't mind having... Is it I'll have 60 clan rats in this type? Maybe 80? Um, I'll have somewhere between 60 and 80 clan rats of this generation, and I'm okay with that. They're cool models. I have currently 20 with knives and 20 with spears, and I think the next unit is more knives again, but uh, of course, you know, when you buy the two Christmas boxes and the Vanguard box, you go with what you got. Um, but I look forward, like, the Storm Fiends are a great kit and they're newer. The Storm Vermin is a slightly older kit, but has a lot of cool posability, and I don't think that would be a bad thing to get. Um, another reason why I want to get my models to a good point is if they're already painted, I'm not going to have that, oh, I shouldn't put effort into painting these. There's better versions out there. Not that I ever feel that way. I mean, I have... If you look at my Space Marine armies, I have more Firstborn than uh, Primaris. Both painted and unpainted. <laughs> and I'll go between them here and there and they're still they're still space marines they're still cool looking models and I'll paint them up occasionally but the new shiny the newer better you know it I can see where that can get to be a uh, drawback when they come out with new ones. Especially if they end up being the same price. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm not going to buy the old ones for the same price as the new ones. But... I also think it depends on, you know, how soon you want to play. Like... I don't think clan rats in general are going to go anywhere. Um, if you need a unit of clan rats for an army list, that's not a bad thing to get. But I do enjoy... I mean, okay. So I'm not going to go out of my way to buy the Knight Riders kit. <laughs> I believe it's just online only, and those models do look kind of uh, less exciting. <laughs> the flails look really funny. Or not flails, the uh, slings, I think it is. So, and I'm not going to get metal models because I'd rather kit bash in plastic than spend, you know, six to eight to ten times as much. <laughs> but I don't really think clan rats look bad for what they're supposed to be.
Let's see. I have been looking at the uh, war bands that they've released, and if I didn't already have so many models still to paint, I would probably pick up the uh, Skitter Shank and such. Um, I think they're cool models. I love the look of them. But I want to get my current Skaven to a good point first. If I remember correctly, I have over 3,000 points of Skaven. And I have about, what, 500 points painted? <laughs> so... Again, I'd, I'd love to get to a good point with it before buying more. I do struggle every now and then with uh, getting more models uh, on the upper end. <laughs> so... All right, that is flesh color one. <laughs> I'm going to turn on autofocus and grab a few of these models. So now I'm going to try the dark Prussian blue and see if I have to darken it up any.
Okay. Have a good one. That's... So I'm thinking that might be too blue. This is a one-to-one -one dark Prussian blue and 
royal purple. All right. So. You know, I actually like the blue better. Maybe that'll look better after it dries, because I think the blue has a little bit more time. But... Both look decent. They're both really dark. <laughs> but that is kind of the point, right? I might do five and five. You can always highlight later. Or cover it with a different color. I think I might actually do this and then do a watered down grim black um, speed paint on it. Might try that. So I think I'm going to do half and half, and then do the Grim Black and see how that comes out. Plus that way if I have two units of five, they're easily identifiable. But yeah, I think the original blue on its own, what threw me off was how natural, I mean, how unnatural it looked. It was a very artificial color, and too consistent, so the speed paint 
might dull it down enough to make it look dirty and worn and more rat-like. So, that'd probably help. It is a little weird that they have a single color for three, sometimes four pieces of fabric at once over the course of the whole model. So that might also be a thing that's throwing it off. Might need to hit each of them with a different color wash to break up the uniformity, make it more of a camo pattern. So. I do like how dry, how dark it dries. That is cool. Okay, I need... Another punching. Yeah, you go.
it is going to be weird having their uh, tail be so bright compared to the rest of the model. But I think it's going to be fun. So that was the purple blue clothing. Now for the just blue clothing. And I just put the paint brush in the wrong color. <laughs> but I caught it before I went on the model.
And I did it again. I think I might need to rotate my wet palette so it's not the closest anymore. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever had that problem before, so it's kind of funny. I guess it's just black versus um, blue versus purple blue is just too close to the same I don't, I don't know
extremely dark rats. <laughs> Does this even pick up the difference between the purple and the blue purple? Well, the blue and the blue purple? Yeah, kinda. They're dark. <laughs> That's what I want, wanted to go with, so... They are definitely stealthy rats. Alright. So, where's my grim black? So I'm going to try the Grim Black on one of these. Congratulations, you are the one. Well, it got glossy. Because it's wet. Uh, let's see what it looks like on the blue. Ooh. I do not know where it just fell. So, this one. <laughs> Yeah, we can't really tell. What happens if I use Grave Lord Grey instead?
I'm not the only one that uses speed paints as washes, right? I actually like the way that that looks. Actually looks good. So I'm gonna do a Gravelord Gray over all of the fabric. It's about one to one with water. Where did that go? Drop her bottle of water so that the ratio of one to one is kept. This one I'm painting the fur as well as the
fabric. I think that's going to look good. Gonna do an overall wash of this. Because I think I actually like how it looks. Always highlight up anything that's way too dark once it fully dries. And it gives a consistent shadow color across the whole model. So, instead of a consistent Highlight color, it's a consistent shadow color, but I think that's pretty cool. does mean I won't be able to do anything else on these guys after they have this wash because it's going to take a while for it to dry. And I'm not going to screw up the layer I just put down by not letting it dry. I'll still have to do the metals. And I technically still have to go find the one that went across the floor. <laughs> but... Yeah, the Gravelord Grey looks like it's a great highlight uh, shade color for this. It's not pure black. It's got some color in it, but it's also nice and dark. It's not changing the color too much, it's just pooling in the recesses so that it's got highlight and shadow colors. I mean, it's darkening it up a little bit.
All right, I'm gonna find that last one, that one across the floor. Make up the last of this wash for the last two, three. And then I'll show you off what I got. thought it could get away. All right. All right.
<laughs> they are dark. They don't want to show up. <laughs> I wonder what do I have? What if I have them on a black background? Will they show up then? Maybe? Focus, you focus. It wants to, but <laughs> yeah, they are definitely dark. They are stealthy. They will probably need a little bit of a highlight once they dry. And then I can do the metals and the leg wrappings and the tail. So. Yeah, they're, they're eventually going to be a little bit brighter than that because of all the other stuff, but I want it so that the blade and the tail are what no are really noticeable anyway, so kind of like it. It's something dark. And these are gutter runners. They're supposed to be really stealthy. So. Let's see if I can get one of the blue ones to show up. Definitely stealthy. <laughs> but. But for now, that's. You know, they're a little over a third of the way done, I think. I have the flesh and fabric and a wash. So I just have to hit all of the smaller details and uh, maybe do a little bit of highlighting. So possibly next week? Let me know if you would like to see this next week as well. I'll finish them off then. But until then, I hope you find your bit of bliss. Have a good evening.